everybody welcome back to my channel beauty on a budget and today will be part I think it, uh, part three I think of cleaning my bathroom because I've done the tub and the bath mats now I'm working on my counter I'll just get the camera down so all this product that's sitting here on the floor was everything that was on my ledges and piled up all over my counter it's been a long time since my counter has been that empty and it's been probably just as long since my whole tub area has been that empty so now i'm going through this stuff um, each one at a time deciding you know if there's product that these stars are empty if i use them or don't use them or if i got duplicates of them so i've kind of got them broken down into like face masks oh, i guess these are face masks face masks and then body care products, you know, shampoos, um, body washes, body lotions, and then all my perfumes and body sprays. So I'm gonna be just going through this stuff and putting it away. And I will also be showing you, cause this counter here is also granite, and I've got some water sparks. I don't know if I can be able to get them off. I mean, when I rub it, it looks like they're gone. And then when it dries, they come back. So I did get some strong cleaner the other day from Home Depot. I got some better granite cleaner. So I'm gonna see if that will actually work on here. So I will be back. Oh, actually, some of that is coming off now. Uh, it's just starting to kind of, just needs to be scrubbed a little harder. That's just that soap scum and calcium buildup. So I will be back when I've got the rest of my counters and stuff all taken off. I mean, I did a quick wipe down just to, just to kind of get some of the dust and makeup that was stuck on here, you know, foundation, body lotions, everything just kind of gets covered all over here where you don't clean after you spill your makeup. So I will be back when I'm cleaned that and when I've got all this product back on the window ledge. All right, so here's all my stuff, all back on the ledges around my tub. Surprisingly, there's actually more stuff here than there was when I began with, and it looks like less stuff. So now I have just the counter to clean off. I was gonna say, yeah, I love the Lysol for cleaning. I'm out of it, and I have got the scrubbing bubble, so I'll be using the scrubbing bubble one today. I don't find it cleans as good as the Lysol one, but I'm going to just take this, I'm just gonna spray my sink. Get a nice coat. And let that sit. I'm trying not to spray on the granite because I bought the granite cleaner. So I'm just going to grab that because I left that in the little basket. Cleaning products is right behind me. This. Sorry, I know I'm just knocking things over. Okay, so I did buy, is that Home Depot? I did buy the Barkeeper's Friend. I've never bought this before. I've seen so many people on uh, Pinterest and YouTube saying it works pretty good. So I thought I would try it. It was only about $330 or $360 at Home Depot. So I thought, well, it's actually pretty cheap compared to some of the other products that I have seen. And then I did buy this. This is the Zeep uh, Marble Granite and Quartz Cleaner. I was out of my granite cleaner. So when I saw this, this was almost 12, I think this was around $12 at Home Depot. A little bit pricey, but worth it when you have like real stone. It also cleans like in my kitchen, I have travertine backsplash. So this works really good on the travertine. Of course, just the toilet bowl cleaner. I also picked up a bottle of the Zep, uh, the grout cleaner. Uh, my shower floor just looks so horrible. It's just stained with different, I should say hair color and grout do not mix. My kids have gone with lots of different colors. So my grout kind of has like a rainbow effect in places where hair color has spilt and wasn't cleaned up properly. I'm hoping that this will help get rid of it. 
And then I also have this little thing here, which I bought. Uh, I just gotta put the cover back on. Uh, I actually have it filled with Windex right now. So I love this because it works really. Now some people don't like these cleaners, like bottles that have, you know, you fill the handle with the cleaner and then you've got the sponge on the other side. I love these because then I don't have to carry, you know, I can don't have to carry like a bottle and the rag. It's just one thing. So I've got, this is full of the Windex. And then this, you just wipe it off. And it's got the, I like the shape of this one. So when I'm cleaning, uh, I'll show you in a minute. When I'm cleaning this uh, mirror here, um, because of the way the backsplash comes, I have this little ledge. So this really helps me clean off the ledge and helps me get behind my faucet. Because a few things in this bathroom or in my house work really no, they're not easy to clean in certain areas. So, I'll just turn this back around. So now the, um, the scrubbing bubbles has been on here for a few minutes. I'm just gonna find my gloves. Put my gloves on. I know I should've been wearing them before I sprayed, but I was just trying to get this done. And I just got this cloth here. I'm just gonna wipe up around here. See, this is just so hard to clean. I can get this in so you can see the space between the faucet and the backsplash. That this sink has this little knob thing here that you pull up and down it's for the drain of the sink. And the whole the years we've been here, I've never been able to move it. Oh, look at that, it just moved a little. Well, it just kind of moved a little bit. But it, this didn't move, so I have not actually mm -hmm. used that, this drain stopper. Right there, I'm just going to try to get some of this off. Next, I do want to try the barkeeper's friend, but I just want to just see if the Scrubbing bubbles one will do it, and it doesn't. It it just leaves a residue of stuff, and it just does not clean good for me. If other people find that scrubbing bubbles works good for them, that's good. I just find it just doesn't work good for me. I mean, this sink is kind of clean and shiny, but it gets that way if I just take a cloth and just dry it. But there is stuff all around the drain. So I'm going to try this barkeeper's friend. I have to take, I haven't opened it yet, so I gotta take my gloves off just so I can peel this off. Let's go see, how do I do this? I just wanna make sure I'm doing this properly. Okay, sprinkle onto wet surface. See, I would have messed up already. Okay, so now it's all wet. See, look at that, the scrubbing bubbles, and then I get it wet, and look at all the dirt that was found. Yeah. And this is a brand new clean cloth that I just got out of the, out of my cupboard. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this on. It's not coming out. It's not coming out. Just, I'll be back in one second. Okay, I just took a incense and just pushed it in here to get. It just seems to be all clumped. That's okay. It happens if, with Ajax and Comet. Sometimes it just gets settled and it just needs to just needs to be shaken. So everything it just kind of settles or if it gets a little moisture, that's okay. I just thought I'd use an incense because uh, 
I didn't have anything else. I was going to use a disposable chopstick, but I couldn't find any. And I was just going to use one of my regular chopsticks. And then I walked by and I saw the container full of incense. I thought, oh, this should probably work. So we'll try this again. So I sprinkled the barkeeper's friend on. Okay, gently and rub with a wet cloth or sponge. Okay. put my gloves back on. I'm just going to wipe this off and see how clean this will come. As I can see that around this sink right here is the hardest drain in my entire house to clean. And I'll see, it's actually shiny. It has not been shiny in quite a few years. Like I clean my house, but my house has not been deep cleaned in quite a few years. how fast this, all this stuff that's stuck on this drain is just coming off. Oh, I wish I would have bought this barkeeper's friend long ago. Well, now that I know about it, and I know where to buy it, because it was before, as I've seen people talk about it, but I didn't know where to buy it. I'm going to sprinkle a little on the cloth and just wipe it. Just see if I just... So I've got some marks on here. I don't know if it will get that off. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right here, I've got this, this stuff here and it's kind of like giving the the faucet this blue tint I'm not sure what that is I believe it's probably hair dye I've been working on it for quite a quite a few years with get trying to get this stuff off and it won't come off so I don't know if this is going to help get it off at all. Like I don't think I'm going to get any of it off today. So it doesn't look like it. But I think if I just keep working and every time I clean the sink, it probably just hopefully a little more comes off. Because I'm not quite sure what it is or how long it's been there. Cloth wet without getting my phone wet. So surprised at the amount of stuff that's coming out of this sink while I'm just rinsing this cloth and just going around the sink. The amount of dirt that's coming off. It already looks clean, but more dirt is coming off. I just find that amazing. more of this. There, so now it's going to come out. I think it just needs to be you know, shaken really good.
I'm gonna say my sink has not been this shiny for a long time. This drain has never been this shiny for a long time either. But it's a cheap finish on some of this hardware in this house. So like I can see the stuff is coming off and I don't know if that is grime or if it is something that's not supposed to be coming off. Like I don't know if it's the finish. But this top part of this is not getting any cleaner and whatever's on here is not coming off either. But I'm gonna keep working at it and see if I can get that to come off with other product. But I'm just going to now rinse this. All this dirt that's coming out of here is just, I don't know. It looks clean. And I'm just getting more and more dirt coming out of this cloth. Oh, I think I have no more dirt coming out of the cloth. That's good. It means I probably got all the dirt off of this sink. Kind of surprises me because I you know you think that you clean it and, then, and it looks all shiny and it looks all clean and then put another cleaner on and more dirt comes off. I'm gonna leave the sink like this. So I'm just gonna dry my counter off so I can get ready to do my counter with the um, with the granite cleaner. So this. I'm going to set this one, this cloth aside, because I know I know I've used it with our kids' friends. I'm just going to set that down here, because it is goes off for a second. There's a hole in one of the gloves, my hand is wet, or it's just water went in the glove, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to move all this stuff off the counter. and just get any little bit of dust or dirt that's on here and any water. So now, oops. So now I am going to be spraying, get my camera angled. There. Now I'm gonna be spraying my counter with the granite cleaner. I'm going to start this far end. And I'm going to start wiping off this end here just so I can set my camera back down. As I said, this is trying to clean when there's no room for your hands to get in. It's really hard. I know I've got some soap scum and hard water stuff right in here. I'm going to have to figure out how to get to clean that.
the counter has a little bit of a lip where the granite comes around underneath, so I'm also trying to get that. There is my counter. It is now clean. And it will look a lot better once I get the mirror done because I know the reflection of the mirror being dirty just doesn't help with how clean the counter is. see how with my my um, backsplash having this lip here and then having this space here I can get right along the edge of my mirror and I can see where it need to scrub I do like this sometimes, but this is just going to take a while if I were to just rely on this. So I'm just going to spray this. I'm just going to grab the other cloth. This is being filled. It's kind of heavy. I'm just kind of awkward at the moment. It works good on, I do like it when I'm cleaning other things. I'm just going to grab the other cloth here. I've got this one, it's this mitt one, so I just put my hand in. done kind of fast. Well, I've got some streaks, but it's just a first going over. And I'll swoop, whoop, go up to my other hand. And I can just do more polishing. my toilet but I'm not going to show you how I do that so I'm just going to finish this and then I'm going to put all my product back on my bathroom ledge or my bathroom counter I mean and then I will start the shower now again one thing that's really hard is I have a walk-in shower with all those glass tiles and they are 10 high and there's 14 rows. So it's a, my shower, three walls or four walls of it are made of 140 glass tiles, double sided. And my shower, my walk-in shower does not have a removable shower head. So when I go to clean my shower, I have to rinse using an ice cream bucket and I throw it at the wall. So <laughs> or, it's, it's one thing I would love to have had just in the 11 years we've been here, 
that changing out the shower head has not been a priority. Some people might think that's a priority. Well, I don't do a lot of showers. I prefer baths. So it's that once in a while when I go to clean my shower, I realize I would really like to have a uh, shower head that I can take down and use to clean my inside of my shower. So not very often have I, you know, really thought about do I need it? I mean, yeah, we've thought about it over the years, but it just, it's still on there, but we've got some other stuff that are more like priority. Like we've got some windows that need to get replaced and we had replaced door hinges a year ago and we were painting the house last uh, fall or last late summer. We didn't get the whole house fully painted. Just other stuff came up. I've had my car in the shop a couple times, my laptop in getting repaired. So the shower just kind of not a big priority. So it's just one of those things, you know. And we've got in this house, actually we have a total of three showers in this house and not one of them have a detachable shower head. So 11 years, three showers, you know, it's not a priority. <laughs> This is clean, except I've got a few spots here. Which I can tell that is hairspray. And hairspray is always the hardest thing to clean off the mirror. But for now, I think it's pretty good. I, mean, I still have to work. And then some of this, actually, is that? You know, I think that's just hairspray. Because this is where I stand when I'm just, you know, using hairspray. So I think that's just all hairspray. So it's all in this one section. This is where I always spray the mirror with hairspray, is right in here. I'm gonna just stop for now. I'm just gonna see how clean my counter is. You can see how shiny it is now. There's, I don't know, something there. I just saw something. I can feel something. I know it before and I felt it. It's, I don't know what that is. There is just something sticky, not sticky, it's hard dried something right there. But I will work on that. So there, and there is how clean you can see the mirror. And like I said, I can't believe that there is more product along this ledge than there was before. Don't know how that's possible you take everything off and you just put it all back up and you can fit more and it looks like less okay so see, this is where i have to work on is this here with this hard water it's always been hard to get off i don't know how to get that off, although I, because I had this new tool that I had recently bought and it worked really good, but just had it, it worked really good. This one here, this multi-purpose scraper, because it worked really good cleaning my laundry room sink. I'm hoping that it will scrape. It is scraping it off, and it's because this is plastic. It's not going to wreck the. I'm not gonna rush the granite. Although you don't want it to hear squeaking sounds when you're cleaning. It is coming off. So I'm gonna spray that down with some more of the granite cleaner. I'm just gonna let that sit in a few minutes. I was just at Home Depot a couple weeks ago and I bought this stuff. Well, maybe yeah, about two weeks ago when I bought this stuff. I went there. I was going to try to find that other granite resurfacer stuff, but I was between. I had to run and do something else. I can't remember what I had to get done. But I had a few minutes 
where I could just stop in and get some of the cleanup. And I thought I would have time to get in there and then look for the granite um, stuff to restore the granite, whatever, reseal the granite. That's what it is. The stuff to reseal the granite. And I just didn't have time to do that. I had enough time to run in and get the cleaner and then somebody messaged me about something and then I, I didn't have time. And the lineups were kind of long that day. So that happens, you go to try to do something and then you have to go and do something else and don't quite get finished what you wanted to get done. Now this tool is working really good. Just really scraping all this hard water, uh, soap scum, calcium buildup. We have really hard water. And the other day we just hit the spring runoff. So when I have my hot water running, just straight hot water, all I smell is bleach right now. And so that tells me uh, it's that spring runoff. So this is always when I get more uh, buildup on everything. This is when I have to clean around the faucets even more or else I get this problem. So I'm hoping that all came off. I won't be able to tell until I dry it, but with the amount of stuff I see in my sink, the amount of stuff I see loose in my sink that I was scraping off, and the amount of stuff I see on the screen. Tool, I'm hoping that I got it all off. Now I bought this, I was disappointed with the way it worked for what I had bought it for. It didn't work, but I used it when cleaning that laundry room sink. And if it works, it worked really good cleaning the laundry room sink. really good to clean this because then I'll be so happy to get rid of all that calcium buildup on my sink. I think it did. I just have to dry it and then I have to let it air dry because even after I've cleaned this the counter and it looks like it's all been cleaned off before, I wait a few minutes and see if it really is, comes back or not. Like. I can mostly dry it, but I have to wait till it fully air dries to see if it came off. But that's a huge improvement. I think I got it all off. I've been working on this for quite a while because you can see oops, in there it's still a bit of a build up stuff in here, but I don't have any tools to get in that, that spot and my, even my claws don't even get in there it's hard to get in there to clean and hard to get in there to dry so stuff just gets in there that's where it kind of starts to accumulate it starts in this corner here and then it just comes out now i'm going to say i don't know what made it come off i don't know if it was a combination of, i don't know if it was just this with water or if it really is this marble granite cleaner that I was able to, you know, clean it, but I will wait. I'll come back in a few minutes just to see. I still feel something right there too. The build up of something still there. And that's how I feel it. I can feel it before I see it. I'm just going to give that a few more minutes, but I think I got it all off. Although I can Start to see it coming back right around here. You can still see that ring. That's what I said, like once it air dries, yeah, see right here. I didn't scrape on this side yet. I was working over on this side first. And it has, I know the sun reflecting is gonna make it look like it's still there, but I get like, no, I don't know how I can do that. I guess the only way I can do is just if I scrape this side. I'm just gonna 
angle the camera down as well. Let's give it a few more minutes just to dry, but you can see right in here where it's starting to dry, it's still some there. But now I just know if I just keep working at this, just, it's going to take a few more minutes of scraping this. And this I bought at the dollar store, or Dollarama, and they said it was to help you clean your car. And I tried to clean my car with it, and it just, just, I didn't like the way it was feeling when I was trying to clean my car. Now that I found some other uses for it. Dry that spot really good and just give that a minute and see. You see, I said as it dries, then it will come back. So I'm just going to wait and see. There's still a little bit there, but most of it is gone now. So I'm just going to keep working on this now. So I'm just going to keep scraping this off my sink. So I'll be back when I get this all scraped off and then I'll have all my stuff back on the counter and I'll be starting my shower. All right, so here is my shower. You can see the floor, it just tiles are all stained. They need to be, that's why I bought the grout cleaner. But here is my walk-in shower because it's 140 bricks. Very hard to keep clean. Uh, you can see on this one, so this is like when you're stepping in. This side is the outside, this is the inside one. The outside, it's so easy to keep clean. It's very few marks on it, like the no marks on it. There's no water marks, maybe a few little handprints there that need to be wiped off. You know, somebody is walking in or out of the shower dirty. They've got handprints down there. I can see. So I can see uh, the handprints are higher than mine, so it wasn't me. And I'd probably be, <laughs> That's one thing. I always look at the handprints and see, well, how high up or below to the where I reach are the handprints? Are they mine or not? So I'd say these ones, they're higher than I reach. They're not mine. When I step up, yeah, see there, there's my it's higher than my hand when I'm white sipping in ice to here the handprints are way up here so it's not me walking into the shower you know dirty with those mud handprints but it's this one here you can see the outside and the inside so the inside has the soap scum build up and I did have a cleaner that I used to buy and it works so good to get this, this stuff off. And I cleaned this shower like once a week, never any problem. And then they discontinued that product. Since they discontinued that product, I've been finding it very hard to get rid of this hard water soap scum. But there was a few things I saw on Pinterest, so I like to try one. One is mixing the vinegar and Dawn. So you take, 
I do have it written down, but I think it's like half a cup of vinegar warmed up, poured into a spray bottle, and I think two tablespoons of Dawn. I don't know, I've seen other recipes where they use like two cups of Dawn, and I'm like, why need that much cleaner? You don't need that much soap unless they're using a large amount of water and I don't understand gallons, but still, you know, like for a little spray bottle. So I'm going to try that. So I'm going to go down to my kitchen and I'm going to warm up uh, half a cup of vinegar. Now I don't know the difference between the white vinegar and the cleaning vinegar and I have cleaning vinegar. So I am actually going to do this in two different bottles. I'm going to use regular white vinegar and I'm going to make up a solution with the cleaning vinegar and I want to see if that makes a huge difference. You see this is like all this is where my you know, bath products sit here. This is my shampoo and conditioner sits on these shelves. Yeah, see my body wash sits there. Shampoo and conditioner up here. Um, my razor and um, shaving foam sit way up here on the top shelf. And these three are my husband's, so I don't know what he has. I think his shampoo sits here. I don't know, his soap sit there and there. And we don't even use this little soap tray. Uh, it doesn't hold a bar of soap. And then there is our shower head. And we have tried so many different ways to get this calcium off. We have actually, oh, that just went in my eye. <laughs> don't scream things above your head and look up. Okay. Uh, we did the vinegar solution stuff. We had the baggie overnight. It did nothing. I think it just actually caused the finish off the actual chrome finish to come off actually. I don't think it did anything. So that's what I want to work on. So, And then the same with like these tiles. Like some of you can see the soap scum. I can kind of just scrape it off with my finger in places. So, so I want to try that. Oh, my eye hurts now. So I will be back when I get the vinegar warmed up. Okay, actually I'm back. I'm in my kitchen just so you can see I've got, this is the regular white vinegar. Now this is cleaning only because this accidentally got put in the garage by some other things. I don't know. We are moving stuff around in the garage and the vinegar got put beside you know, car stuff. So I didn't want it to come in to the pantry for food. So I said I'm going to keep this for the cleaning only. So it's just regular white vinegar. And this is the cleaning vinegar. I don't know if there's any difference. I did say there was like the acidity was this is like 1% stronger than this. I have to reread that before I say exactly how that is. So I'm just going to move the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've also got two spray bottles. I got a blue one and a purple one. Also, I, so I won't get them mixed up. And of course, the blue uh, Dawn. So I'm going to start with the cleaning vinegar first. I'm going to warm up half a cup of the cleaning vinegar. I don't really know if warming them up actually does anything, but this is what it said to do. So I'm just gonna put this in the microwave for a minute. So I'll be back when I get this out of the microwave. All right, so now I've got my vinegar. It's just steaming hot here. So I'm just gonna pour it into this. So this is the cleaning vinegar. So I'm gonna pour it in this bottle, unless I spill all over myself. I'm going to grab the water jar. Maybe that'll be a little easier. Just gonna pour it. Yeah, that's so much easier. So there is the cleaning vinegar in the purple bottle. And then I guess I'll put the regular vinegar in the blue bottle. Just pour half a cup in here. And I'm going to warm this up and then I have to let these cool because it's just way too hot like there's no way I'd want to put lid I don't know if a minute's long enough or too long I'm gonna just try 30 seconds and see if that makes a difference okay, I'm 
around for a little bit. Dish soap in here. Not quite sure how much I just added. But I think, honestly, I don't know if I like the idea of it being hot and shaking. Yeah, see, hot and shaking, and it's just exploding out. I'm just gonna undo that. I don't know what this will, if this will wash you clean. But I will say, in a minute, if I just go and wipe my microwave down, I'm gonna have a really nice, clean microwave in just a minute. Just take a dry cloth and wipe off the vinegar. Using the sink to get washed. Just for the side. So that bowl is just too hot. Add some dish soap to this one. And I think 30 seconds was good, not a minute. I'm just gonna let these cool down just a little bit because I can't touch them. So I will be back when I'm upstairs to test these out. So the purple has the cleaning vinegar and the blue is the regular vinegar. And I will just see if there's any actual difference. Okay, I'm gonna start with the cleaning vinegar. Spray all the way down the first row of tiles. I'm going to spray the next row as well. Let that sit. And I'm going to grab the other one. This was the regular cleaning. And I'm going to spray. <coughs> oh. hmm. I'm going to spray Okay. Maybe I'm not going to spray. This nozzle is not working. I'll be right back. All right, I just switched the nozzles from the other one. I don't know why that nozzle just wasn't going to work. I'm just going to spray a couple rows over here. I'm just going to give them a few minutes to soak up and do what they have to do. And then I have the regular, <coughs> just don't spray chemicals and talk it. I've got just the regular uh, scrubbing bubbles. So I'm just gonna test a little corner over here and just see which works best. Two rows sprayed with the Dawn and cleaning vinegar. And two rows over here are sprayed with the scrubbing bubbles. And two rows <coughs> over here are sprayed with the regular white vinegar and Dawn. So we've had a couple minutes. So I'm not gonna scrub. <coughs> I'm gonna use my little squeegee and just See, because they said that this was supposed to just, just make it come off. And actually, I'm actually kind of impressed with <coughs> a few of these tiles. And of course, as you get further down, not so much. See these scrubbing bubbles, I'll see. Oh. See, it does make a difference, but there's still a lot of, I mean, it does make a huge difference, but there's still a, so much soap scum. That, that's what I'm trying to get rid of. I'm trying to get the rid of the soap scum. And let's just see. Yeah, see the regular white vinegar 
didn't really, didn't do anything. So I don't know. I'm gonna say the vinegar. It may work one, it may work, but I think it's just, my stuff is just so caked on with bubbles or with the soap scum that that's not really going to get it off. I do say this scrubbing bubbles really did get it off the best. And I'm actually impressed with that because I've done the scrubbing bubbles before and that is so shiny. So I think I'm just going to spray the whole shower with the scrubbing bubbles and just set the vinegar aside and just research that recipe again just because you know sometimes you see stuff I don't have it in front of me which is something I read and I do know that reading a few different ones on Pinterest sometimes you'll read uh somebody will share it and they give the wrong mm, amount I'm not saying they are wrong it's just you know I may have done something wrong maybe there was something about the way to to warm up the vinegar so I'm just going to spray the whole shower with the scrubbing bubbles and I'll be back when I've got it all coated because I'm just surprised with that. I will say I've never had them that shiny with soap scum. It's either soap scum or no soap scum, but to be shiny with soap scum, that is something new. So I'm going to spray my whole shower with this. So I'll be back when I've got that done. All right, I want to show the difference. So I was working here on this part here, uh, which is this. I was using this part, and I was using this other, these other two rubber scrubby parts, trying to get this. It was starting to come off. I'm like, but this shower is 140, 140 double-sided glass bricks. This is going to take forever. So I'll show you. And then I thought, I've got something else. I went down to the laundry room and I found the SOS pads. So I will show you the difference. So this side, I did uh, five. So five on this side and the five on this side. This five, I used just this. Going like this and like this, scrubbing and trying to get all that soap scum off. And it still has all this residue, which I gotta wipe off. These five here are super shiny. I did these with the SOS pads and then just took clean water and ooh, squeegeed it off. So I'm gonna clean my entire shower. You can see I was starting to also just testing over in different spots too um, with the SOS pads. As you can see other spots that was just the um was it the scrubbing bubble so if i go like this you can still see there's lots of hard water left and the scrubbing bubbles leaves a film if you don't wipe it off right away and i had squeegeed this off that was the scrubbing bubbles i had squeegeed it off and then i resprayed it but I'm surprised with the SOS pads. I have never used the SOS pads in my on these glass tiles. As you can see over here, I was using the SOS pad and it has that blue residue because it needs to be rinsed. So I'm kind of using a combination of the SOS pad and this a little tool here because I, I can kind of scrub and I can kind of scratch away at the same time. So I'm kind of using a combination of the two, but I'm surprised with the SOS pads. So I'm going to clean my entire glass shower inside with the SOS pads. I'm not quite sure how long it's going to take me to do that. So far it's been, been here for probably almost half an hour. So it's going to take a little while. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean my glass shower door or glass um, yeah, glass shower walls with the SOS pad. So I'll be back when I'm finished. All right, there is my shower door or shower glass tiles. They're all done. The SOS pad was amazing. I've never 
done, never cleaned glass with that before. So I'm gonna work on these other two or three tiled walls and the shower floor tomorrow. I gotta stop my slipping. There's just so much water on the shower floor. So I'm gonna stop there for tonight. So I will be back tomorrow when I finish the rest of the shower. This is the next day. This is what my shower inside looks like. There's still a few tiles that still have some um, residue on, but with where they were to where they are, it's a huge improvement. And then I do know, like I said, like, it's this wall here and near the bottom. I just kind of got tired the other night, when I was, yeah, last night when I was doing this. So some of the bottom ones there you know, went over, but they'll need to be scrubbed again. But the SOS pads really worked good. And then I was also using the SOS pad over here on this wall. And I used the SOS pad and I got this all shiny. And I used the SOS pad and I got a lot of this buildup off. I really want to get a new shower head, but that's just not going to happen right away. So I said, if I do change it, I would really love one of the ones where I can take it off so I can actually clean my shower. It'd be so much easier. So now I'm going to be working on the shower floor. It's like all really dirty. Uh, the grout is like stained. So I bought this, oops, I already took the lid off and then I took my gloves off. So okay, I bought the Z Zep grout cleaner and brightener so i'll be using that i took the lid off because i was going to start and then i realized i was going to film myself doing that i can show you how it works i'm just going to set my camera here for one second i'm just going to get my gloves back on okay so i got my gloves on i'm wearing clothes that i don't really care about so and I've got my little scrub brush. So I'm just gonna start over in this little corner here. I'm just gonna squirt it on. And I'm just gonna grab the little brush and start scrubbing. to do it, I guess, that would be more accurate. I can only tell a huge difference in the tiles. I can see this dirt coming off. So I'm probably going to be spending the next about 10 minutes scrubbing my shower floor. So I will be back when I get more of it done. So you can see what an improvement it is. I'll just move the camera just a little closer so you can see the difference like already in this tile. Like how white those tiles are compared to, I guess like over here, I guess this corner here is like really bad. It's just a whole bunch of, just, it's just soap scum buildup residue rust. Uh, I don't know what from, but we've got rust showing up in our bathroom floor. Like this whole drain here is all, all covered in rust. 
I don't know why, but this is taking the rust and stuff off. So I'll be back when I get the shower floor finished. Okay, here is my shower floor after about almost 10 minutes of scrubbing. As you can see, this is the corner that was all like orangey from like rust or something. I got all the stuff off the tiles and all the rust that was, I don't know, for whatever reason, the drain, it just wants to, you know, rust right now. So I was able to get all that rust off. And of course, when I was cleaning, I kind of splashed the tiles and this will also have to re-wipe those down. But that is my shower it is now completely done. Just gonna do one more wipe off of the floor. And yes, I did, I wasn't saying it in my video when I first started doing the shower floor, but yes, I did go and put socks and shoes on because it is very corrosive and I had my rubber gloves on. So I'm gonna just do one more quick rinse to make sure all that product is off. So I will be using um, my floor cleaner, just my regular floor cleaner to mop off the shower floor so there is none of that grout cleaner on residue left on here and same with the bottom couple of tiles I kind of splashed a bit so I'll be wiping those off as well but other than that I think my shower is done like I said it's still some, some spots on the floor that need a good some more scrubbing and there's still some of these tiles that need to be done now some of this is it's hard to tell because I haven't done the other side of the tiles yet either but I do know that most of this is just the soap scum buildup. But if I get on this one, you can see the center I worked on, but it's just the outer edge. I kind of need to work on a little more. I would just, I didn't want to, I might scratch the tiles. And I think I did. I think I may have with the SOS pad, because I think this is like the first these ones here were the first four I kind of tried with. So I think this is the first one. So I think I scratched the tile with the SOS pad. I'm not worried about that because it looks like the only tile that I see any scratching on, which I can't prove that it was the SOS pad. I'm just saying it may have been, but you know, I don't know. Other things could have been used to clean this before we moved in. I don't know. Uh, and then I did have some mildew kind of starting to build up in a few of these spots. So I did pour some of that grout cleaner on these ones. So I will have to scrub those off. But I think it's got, got it all off because there's a few little spots. You can see where it's getting dark because this is where um, stuff hangs here. Just right below here. So I had some stuff that hung up and it traps the water between you know on the tile and then just kind of builds up a little bit of mildew builds up in the grout line if it's not cleaned properly yeah see i've got a lot of this there's still some soap scum on here i can see but for the most part i've got it off of these tiles as well so that is my walk-in shower is now done so now all i just have left to do is the floor and so there's a quick pan. You can see I've been working on everything on the ledges. I've been working on getting my counter cleared off. You see the stuff that's on the counter, half of it is actually sits in the shower. And then I've done under that one cupboard, I cleared it out and I've kind of organized it. So I have left to do our this drawer and this drawer, that's my hair and makeup. And then over here is all the rest of my hair and makeup. So I'm trying to get it all, most of it, into back into these two bins. I'm not sure if I can fit it in. I do have another one of these totes downstairs, so I'll probably just go and um, figure that out. See if I have a, I've got one of these other three um, drawer things, but they're wider drawers. I may have to bring that one up. And then just take these two back downstairs. So I'm just trying to figure that out. But I've got just going through my nail polish. I'm just trying to organize my nail polish and hair accessories and jewelry. 
So that is what I'm still working on. So I'll be back with I got more uh, progress. Here is the final look at my bathroom now that it is completely finished. So there is my shower. It's all clean. I still have to do the outside of the glass tiles and I still have to go over these once more. But for right now, I'm really happy with the way it looks. All the rust and a bit of the mildew that was starting to appear in the shower is gone. That's what I really cared about. Uh, I've got my counter all cleared off, nothing extra. Although one of the extra items are now along the bathroom ledge here. And you can't even tell, it actually looks more organized, more, well, I guess, put together because I took everything off and I put everything in likes to, like items together. Uh, I still have these two drawers to go. In fact, they'll probably look worse because I had to put stuff back in them. I can't even open this one again because I just, I don't have time to finish. So I just put all my hair stuff back into these things. My makeup is in these. Uh, I've got, my husband has to hang up this mirror and this other mirror for me. So my husband will get my husband to hang those mirrors up in the bathroom. I've got my jewelry that I was working on, so I've got that to finish going through. I have this hanging here with my blow dryer and curling iron, just because the way that the my under the sink works, this does not fit on my door properly and it won't shut. And it has nothing to do with the extra items, it's the way the door is built. Because I've taken everything out from under the sink to put this basket, hanging basket, and it will not fit under my sink. It's the way the doors or the cupboard is designed. And same with, I've got my necklace holder here. Again, I'm going to get my husband to find a place for that. Same with these, I just need somewhere else in the bathroom to hang them up. But there go so that is my bathroom it is finally done so it's gonna be really nice it makes it so much nicer and easier to use the bathroom when it's all neat and organized and there's my bath mats they got a good washing as well I've got a tutorial on that one too So again, I just want to say uh, thank you to everybody who's been watching, liking, and subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next videos. Bye.